It's 9.34 a.m. The day is now starting. You might already know that, but most of the world's economy is affected, if not controlled, by places like this one. Stock markets. There's a saying. Stock markets have predicted 10 out of the 3 last recessions. Now we all know what kind of factors have an impact on the stock market. A company becoming more successful, a merge between two big companies, but is it possible that the stock market could be affected by other factors, more random factors, like for example, weather? Is it possible that something like this might affect that? computed the probability that it's either sunny, cloudy, or rainy, and that the change in index is either positive or negative in the three cities for one of the two years. And you can see that in London 2004, there's a 60% probability that it's rainy, and there's not a big gap between the probability that the change in index is positive or negative. On the other hand, for New York, we have a higher probability that it's sunny, but we still have an almost equal probability that the change in index is either positive or negative. And finally, for Sydney, we have a 40% chance that it's sunny, with an almost equal probability that, the, that it's cloudy or rainy. But this time, the probability that the change in index is negative is equal to 61%. Now, for the independency, we found the probability in the different cities that the change in index is either positive or negative, given that it is sunny, cloudy or rainy. We found that this probability is equal to the probability that it's negative or positive, which means that the two populations are independent because of the fact that P of A given B is equal to P of A. Now, for the hypothesis testing, we chose to do a hypothesis test for each city in order to find out if the sample we chose was adequate and if the population mean was higher than a specific value in 2014. Let's quickly go through New York 2014 as an example. We used a significance level of 5%. The z-score is lower tail, since we only reject our hypothesis if the z-score is below our z-critical, which we found on the table to be minus 1.64. We used the equation x-bar minus the mean, divided by the standard deviation over the square root of the number of samples. We found out that the z-score was minus 1.42, which emphasizes that we should reject our null hypothesis. This means that the simple random sample we took is representative of the population mean. Now, back to our main objective, correlation. In order to compute the coefficient of multiple correlation between our variables, weather and change in index, we computed one way ANOVA first, then we divided the sum of squares between groups by the total sum of squares. In this way, we obtained r squared, which is the coefficient of determination. Furthermore, we computed the square root of this value in order to obtain r. Since we have a lot of data, we decided to compute it for the three cities only for 2004. The question is, why did we do it? In order to see if the weather situation actually has an impact on the stock market fluctuations. Based on our result, since the correlation between our, uh, our variables is significantly small, we can state that there is no impact. This means, in conclusion, that we've proved once again that the independency between weather and stock fluctuations. <laughs>